Okay. Carly, first off, how does it feel coming off of probably the most, I, I would say, amazing game of your career so far? How does it feel after that? Um, it feels pretty good. It just feels good that we got the wins, honestly. Um, everybody did pretty good today. Missy pitched awesome in the circle and Aaron pitched awesome the next game. And um, I just am really excited that we got um, some momentum going into next week. What's your thought going into that second um, at bat when you hit another grand slam? Are you, are you thinking about UC bases loaded? Are you thinking about the first one like, oh, I could do this again? Or what's your thought kind of going into that? Honestly, I was just thinking that I had to get my timing down. I wasn't really thinking about my last at bat or what I wanted to do this at bat, except just to be on time with the pitch. Um, and that worked out in my favor. But what's it went so well for you guys just in general hitting this weekend? Because it seemed like those first couple weekends, you guys were a little slow out of the gates, but it seems like you guys at some point something clicked where you guys have been more productive in that area. I think something that has really helped us um, gain confidence is just pitch, our pitch selection. Um, I think the first couple of weeks we struggled with just kind of swinging outside of the zone a little bit. Um, and then once we came back to work at practice, we really focused on that. And I think that's really shown in the games, just focusing on swinging in the zone, swinging at the right pitch and making something happen. Obviously this team isn't going to go out and get 23 runs each game, but how confident hey. are you guys starting to play now? <laughs> we might, um, I think that it's just – it's good to take each game, game by game, pitch by pitch, something we talk about all the time. Um, it's exciting because we know what we're capable of. We What we can continue to do is just scrap and just um, be gritty and get runs across the board. Um, we have the ability to just score a lot of runs every game. And so I think it was just affirming us, like, we got this, and especially going into conference, um, just to get some momentum going. Talk about missing Aaron. How tough is it to focus on that side of the ball when you guys have those kinds of leads? Um, I think Missy and Aaron are really focused and they're always really honed in on what they need to do um, each pitch. It's honestly really hard to hit off them at practice because they her, them both and all of our pitching staff really just destroys us. Um, and it's a good competition at practice. We just like to compete against each other, but um, I think that it just helps us know that they can get it done in the circle when the times um, when the time comes. What um, have some of the younger players done to impress you? Because it seems like some of them have really done a good job of kind of implanting themselves in the lineup, even early. Yeah, something really exciting is that um, Coach Sammy gives the young people, a lot of chances. And if they come to work at practice and like everybody just comes to work, then they get chances in the games. And I think that's something that everybody's bought into. Um, so it's really exciting when somebody gets an opportunity and goes up and has a good at bat or just is really aggressive because it shows that they were locked into the game and that they knew that their time would come. Um, and I think that's just a big tool for us going into conference that we have um, every single person bought in, every single person ready to go when the time comes. After Ariana hit two yesterday in a game, did you show her? Did you just have to show her today that there's a higher ceiling she can reach? No, no, we just we go out there as a team, and um, it's fun to compete against each other. But I know that that wasn't even in my mind. I think she did awesome, honestly. Any more questions for Carly? Great. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you, Carly. All right, now we have a uh, Coach Ward. Coach, obviously a lot of talk going to be about the offense for good reason, but how hard is it for to do what Missy and Aaron did and just be able to focus on every single pitch when you have 20-something run lead in one game and five, six, seven run lead in, in another yeah, you know, I think first off, it was really good response from yesterday from our pitching staff. So I was really proud of that. And then honestly, I mean, this just goes to show like what we've been talking about all year with just getting to the next pitch instead of getting lost in the moment. It works both ways when we're behind and when we're ahead. 
So I thought they did a really nice job of staying present, moving forward and trying to compete each pitch without letting the, you know, actual what was going on in the game get too big. Obviously beyond just a lot of runs being scored, what do you like about the approach from your team? Well, everything we're doing right now is, you know, a team effort. And I think that that's huge. Um, you know, we have a saying here, everyone counts or no one counts. And the reality is we need one through 22 to make this thing work. And I think we're really starting to see that and live that right now. And I'm really pleased with that. Um, I, there's some teams that, you know, are relying on one or two people. And when those people go cold, it's really challenging, but we're spreading the workload out quite a bit right now. And I think that's going to be really beneficial to us down the home stretch here. Out of curiosity, have you ever seen three grand slams in a game? I do not think so, to be honest. That was pretty special for sure. Coach, you just talked about it a little bit, but um, in that first game, just kind of what y'all were able to do on both sides of the ball, do you feel like you kind of saw uh, another glimpse of the potential this team has just to kind of be a powerhouse if everything is clicking? Yeah, absolutely. And that's definitely what we talked about after that first game. I mean, every team wants to reach their potential. And our goal as a coaching staff is to keep growing throughout the entire year um, and keep getting better, keep building, keep getting, you know, keep on this upward trajectory, especially, you know, in our conference, we got a conference tournament. Not every conference does. If we can be peaking at that time or starting our peak right there and taking it into postseason, that's exactly what we want to be doing. So I think we're moving in the right direction for sure. But um, yeah, absolutely. I think the biggest thing in these situations is when our team sees what we can see in them. So we see this in them day in and day out. And I think they're finally starting to get that belief in themselves, which is huge. And then just a little bit more specifically on Carly Hamilton, a record holder now in two categories, I guess, what can you just say about her phenomenal play today? Well, I just, you know, I just want to talk about the person, the play is the play and that's exciting, but uh, I care more about the person and she comes to work. She's so grateful to be back here for this COVID year. And she does not take that lightly. She gets emotional about it because she's so grateful. And honestly, I think that shows in her play because she doesn't take anything for granted right now. I think, you know, take getting the season, you know, snatched from them last year from everyone who played um, really kind of hit home with her. And some players kind of forgot about it, to be totally honest. I'm not saying on our team. I'm just saying in general throughout the nation. But she is making it her mission to be grateful for every opportunity she has and making the most of it. So I think that's really exciting to see. And I think that leaves such a great example for everyone else around her. Last one for me. What, what do you take from, I guess, this weekend as a whole moving into conference play? Um, I liked our offense for sure. Um, we know we've got good pitching. Obviously, yesterday was a bit of a hiccup, but I really like the response. So, you know, conference is going to be it's going to be tough, but it's supposed to be. We want to be playing the best of the best every single day. So we're going to be in that situation, especially in the home stretch here. But um, I think just the response that we had, I think that's going to be so beneficial moving forward into conference because there's going to be times where everything's not going our way and we're going to have to be able to respond and respond quickly. So I think this is a good learning experience for that, for sure. Uh, Coach, with Erin facing a team for a second time in a weekend that she struggled with just yesterday, did anything change about the way she pitched or what was, I guess, different from one day to another? Well, I'll just speak in, you know, generalities, but anytime that happens, because this is going to happen again, we're going to be facing the same team three times going into conference. But anytime you see a change like that, that's her commitment, her competitiveness and her mentality. That's the only thing that really changes. And I'm not saying it wasn't great yesterday, but I'm saying today she's like, OK, I'm going to take it to another level. And she has the ability to do that. So Missy does, too, to be totally honest. But it's 100 percent mentality from my perspective, and Erin likes to compete, and she showed that today for us. You touched on that a little bit already, Coach, but just how confident is this team playing right now, and is this at the level that you sort of, you know, expected them to be at heading into conference play? Yeah, I think especially offensively, that's what we've been kind of waiting for, and I think um, they're starting to see the fruits of their labor right now. Um, this is such like a challenging game. It's such a hard game. I think, you know, sports science did 
um, a show one time on the hardest thing in, of all in all of sports. And they said hitting a fast, fast pitch softball was the most challenging thing in all sports. They compared it to baseball and all these things. Um, so this is the hardest thing, but having the mentality of being process oriented um, instead of results oriented, I think is our only way to be successful. And I think they're really seeing that and buying into that right now. So really pleased with their mentality. In terms of, uh, I, so in, in Kali hits her second grand slam, right? And a lot of teams maybe would think, oh, we hit a grand slam, great. You know, base, that's good for the inning. But how impressive is it for a team to clear the bases and then load them back up again and kind of have that mentality of, okay, we hit a grand slam, but let's do it again. Yeah, that's exactly what we've been talking about with getting to the next pitch. It doesn't matter, bad or good, what just happened. If we can get to the next one, we don't have to be done. You know, the last one doesn't define us. That was awesome, but it doesn't have to define, <clears throat> excuse me, define us. The next one does. So it's also momentum building if we can keep moving forward and keep the momentum on our side. But that's something we talk about and they're really living right now.